Welcome back to my channel. This is Deanna with Divine Destiny. I just want to, before I get started, also mention that I have a Facebook group called Divine Destiny and the Rise of Empaths. You're more than welcome to join that tribe. If you are an empath, sensitive soul, just starting out on your journey or doesn't matter how far into it, I welcome you. Thank you so much to the subscribers. Um, it's making it possible that it, this is even happening. I took last week off because I'm just like you and the energy was ha. Ah. I'm trying to stay open and fluent and that keeps coming up to me. So if you're new to my channel, the purpose of this channel is it is my passion to encourage sensitive souls. Cheer them on. Let them know they're not alone. Very briefly, um, my young son transitioned himself in 20, 2014 and he was an empath and he was not mentally ill. He was sensitive to the injustices of the world. So, briefly, thank you so much. I'm very, very blessed and excited to be here. I would have few things coming through to me, words sticking out um, as I was meditating to bring forth this message to you on August 5th. And today the moon is in Libra, so it's about balancing. It's about harmonizing. It's about justice. So keep that in mind. This is a timeless message no matter when you come in to hear it. So stay open. And a couple of the words that were coming to me is that we are adjusting. Lots of energy coming in to beautiful Gaia, to us. And our collective consciousness is what's changing this planet right now and so I just want to say that a few words that stuck out to me is keep this in mind keep this in your awareness not only throughout this week but our journey going forward the lion's gate on 8-8 is a very powerful moment going forward into the 2020 and beyond um, 8 is the infinity number so it's about co-creating what we want going forward dropping the fears um, I'm being shown as I was meditating upon what, what I was going to channel for today for the em encouragement for us empaths, myself and you, is deep, deep cleansing breaths into the sacral chakra this week. Um, orange in color, if you're not familiar with that, it's the second chakra up from the root chakra starting at the base of the tailbone. And this can be blocked and kind of channeled upward from the root chakra of fear and so stay open to flow that can help keep that sacral chakra glowing and it's also the gateway to our passions so make sure to stay open and the best thing that I feel within me that I can share with you is releasing that just bringing your awareness to that I'm grounded in my body my soul chose to be here right at this time being a sensitive and empath we are very sensitive to energy so discernment great discernment we're repairing and it's our willingness to say bigger picture we chose to be here at this time and I am open to the flow of energy that comes through me we are transmitting and transmuting and being the alchemist of our own lives and it starts within me, starts within you. So those are a few things that were sticking out to me and it's kind of funny because Spirit was like recalculating, recalculating and I kind of think it's funny because you know anybody that has a GPS knows if you go off the path, recalculating, recalculating. So for me, I'm laughing in my mind's eye going this is just perfect because if we feel like we're getting pulled off onto the path of fear recalculate yourself be the observer of those emotions so I got it thought it was funny that the spirit was like recalculating so use your vessel like you're the GPS the rudder you are we're co-creators with God with the great supreme so just remember that so if you feel like you're going down the rabbit hole of fear or whatever just kind of make a joke about it and recalculate yourself you can do 
st I'm still feeling so much water energy, so Epsom salt baths, increasing our water at this time is always a must. This hasn't stopped for I don't know how long. It's like labor pains, but the beautiful part of it is, is what comes after the labor pains, a great birth of co-creating the life that we want. So... With that being said, it's, we're repairing. We're repairing lineage. We're repairing past life stuff. Um, re repairing and rejuvenating the DNA of our bodies. So it's a real beautiful thing. And so since the deep cleansing breath into the sacral chakra so we can go forward with our passions and releasing the fear, no matter what comes up to you, um, it was saying that the sacral chakra, orange chakra, was also affiliated with a deep fear of death. Well, in the human vessel, I can say that's something that's even in my birth chart that was highlighted, that getting over the fear of death. Well, I know it sounds crazy, but from the bigger picture, well, isn't that something that my son passed away? The very closest person in my life, and he sh helped show me that it's only a death of this life and he's already on to the next in the in the spirit realm so several signs come through to me it opened up my bigger picture going if my son in spirit knows exactly what's going on in my life that there too the great supreme the 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 spirit god creator universe whatever you want to call it also knows so that was a huge aha moment for me when i realized that so, before we get into the Shaman Oracle for the week, I'm going to do some cards. I used to say I'm going to do a three-card draw, but I'm not going to do that anymore because whatever spirit wants to give me, that's what we'll go with. Um, I hope that everybody's staying open. I Just keep surrendering, keep surrendering, keep surrendering because I know for me, I'm going forward and I'm doing so good and then it's like, bam, I feel like the energy um, exhaustion is a huge one right now. Just think of all the deep healing that we're doing. And if we can think of ourselves as a transformer, our vessel, we are light, we're energy, we're not the vessel, but we're transmuting so many things, walking into mastery. This is Jesus stuff. This is symbolic of he, come in, he came and embodied it. And we're, there's a huge amount of people that are waking up. And so... A reminder to you you're gonna see a lot of the polarity I want to encourage you like I have several times on my YouTube channel to not bite into the fear I'm guilty of it I've done it don't bite into the apple of all of the dramas that are unfolding we're moving forward slowly but surely and it depends on us to the state of transparency and when we tran when we are manifesting transparency within me within the collective there is no more hiding of that darkness and so the darkness is going to squirm keep that in mind if you go off on that path recalculate you know be the observer of everything that's going on with you in you stay open open your arms and just you know what i surrender you don't have to say it out loud you can say it to yourself or whatever but I surrender to the larger picture. I know there's a divine purpose of what we're going through, and we it is best for me to just stay fluent, keep in the flow. Don't beat yourself up if you go off the path. And just recalculate. Step back onto the path of seeing the bigger picture. Don't bite into the dramas of the 3D right now. It's so very important. I've caught myself doing it. There's a lot of things out there that I feel, you know, as we all are feeling the injustices and we're seeing some things, we think we're seeing some things that are really, really raunchy. Say your silent prayers to yourself. Send energy to all people that may be in fear or hurt. But don't spread the fear and hurt keep recalculating to see the bigger picture i know it hurts i know i know it hurts to see injustices and it's beautiful that the moon is in libra today balancing it out we're going forward through this lion's gate there's going to be more and more transparency where there is no hidden deals with money 
There is no hidden deals with this, that, the other, the injustices of our children, the planet Earth, the soil, the water, the air. And symbolically that is not only for the planet Earth and everything that life inhibits here. It's, it's, it's a wide spectrum. Remembering we're galactic beings. So no further ado, let's take three cleansing breaths. And as you do this, in through your nose, really deep, picturing the white healing light. Whatever color may come to you, get yourself in a comfortable position, grounded. Call upon whatever you call upon, God, Creator, Source, the Divine White Light, the Supreme, all that is. And as you're doing that, breathe that light down through your body, deep, deep, deep into that sacral chakra, orange chakra. Feel it spinning clearing, cleansing. We'll do this three times and then we'll do some shaman cards. Mm. All righty, spirit. I call upon God, Creator, Source to allow me to be the perfect channel to encourage every sensitive soul. We feel the energies, and we're going to empower ourselves knowing that we're conduits. We are alchemy, alchemist of turning and transforming anything that is not of loved and Christ consciousness. We're releasing that for the higher good of ourselves and others, and we're going to play that forward knowing that we're very powerful, that we're co-creators, and we're going to step through this lion's gate that is open right now. Beautiful. The divine feminine number is 2, and we got 22. 2 plus 2 is 4. I'm not sure what 4 symbolically is, but let me keep going, spirit. Sorry, I got excited because the divine feminine number of 2 was coming to me last night as well. Breathe that. That's the sacral chakra is, I do believe, represented by the divine feminine within us. Left hand over the heart anytime that you're feeling energy. The left is representative of the divine feminine. I shouldn't have put this cloth down. I thought I would do that, but, you know, I decided to do this outside today. I needed uh, some grounding. So anytime you're feeling like you need to recalculate yourself, Put your left hand over your heart. Do some deep cleansing breaths into that. Feel the expansion of it right now. It's super beautiful and powerful. I've been noticing that. The synchronicities are crazy. Because as I'm meditating upon this and asking that I be the perfect channel to encourage all sensitive souls going forward to stay open and surrender, acclimating, adjusting, and our willingness to do that, kept coming up to me on several different of my spiritual mentors and two of them being Cryon. I don't know if anybody else listens to Cryon on YouTube, but his channels are awesome. And then Elizabeth Peru, who's out of Australia. She was probably another best subscription for me to confirm all the energies that I was feeling already that were not mine, that were collective. Well, we're all one anyway, but it's like, what is this heaviness? Well, it was just confirmation from all these other um, healers that you feel collective energy, Deanna. So it's kind of why my passion is to be on this YouTube channel doing this. Just to encourage every one of us light workers. I would have done anything when I was younger to be able to go, you know what? Oh, you feel everything that everybody else isn't saying, you know? Mm. Mm. Go with that one. All right. Bring in the darkness to the light there. I'm going to read that. Okay, so I am an awakened empath. I am not a psychic medium. I have no desire for that. I believe I've done it in past lives. What I am, though, is an awakened empath. And so my first language is trusting my gut trusting my intuition and so that's how I use the oracles and sometimes to row I'm learning or remembering I should say to encourage us empaths so with that being said the ghost dance 22 I don't know what four is I'll be very honest but two is the divine feminine 
the ghost dance, remembering the larger picture, remembering the unseen, remembering that we are a small fragment of the larger picture. There are no coincidences. Everything is the way it's supposed to be. Honor those honor those that came before you we are our ancestors so honor those before us release the wounds that they didn't want to look at um, get out of victim mentality of blaming I went through all of this in my spiritual awakening the towers that fell were like holy shit this is fucking alarming everything that I thought was authentic and genuine wasn't but this was really kind of something that I went into self-protective mode with because I do believe I've never been rooted in my sh root chakra, anchored into this earth plane until after my son passed away. I was taught into the program from ancestors to not trust my own gut, to not trust my own intuition. And it was just so happened to be very convenient for other people's ego that I went the first 40 years of my life doing that. I highly recommend that you release anything, family lineage, even hooks today. If you're not, um, if you're still around people that don't make you feel feel good and lift you up with love and light, and it just doesn't feel right within you, I really highly suggest um, doing some work on that and healthy boundaries. Not that we're separate then, but there's a lot of takers out there. And for an empath, we've always, if you haven't noticed, those who are in letting the ego drive their vessel instead of their spirit, their soul, they tend to be narcissistic. They attach to that fake mask, and really all it is is fear. And I've, I can look back and go, dots connecting. Um, us empaths being codependent emotionally for a long, long time, we were drawn, people were like vampires for us as far as the ego goes. So just narcissism, I guess, is where I'm wanting to go with that. Narcissism is a real thing. Psychic attacks are a real thing. But there's nothing that can hold power over you once your awareness and your awakening begins. So just remember that. So the ghost dance. It's an American Plains Indians tribe ritual of living with those of ancestors to bring peace to the world he agrees <laughs> that's precious when the ancestors are honored they bring harmony to us when we hold them responsible for all that is wrong with us today they haunt us it's really not them haunting us outside of us own your part if something feels off be the lineage holder that changes the project trajectory of yourself going forward for yourself and others children honor the spirits of the ancestors and receive the lessons and the gifts this includes honoring our own past lives that's huge i just came out of a discovering past lives course that was just amazing the ancestors have a message of healing for you and it's a powerful medicine to offer you. Create a sacred moment at your altar. Well, this altar symbolically can be in your vessel. It can be a physical altar, whatever you so choose. Both, but your awareness and intention is everything. Light a candle. Honor them and let your wisdom and their wisdom infuse you. At this stage in your life, you're done repeating their tragic stories amen to that step into the abundance that is offered to you receive the gifts of those that have come before you and write a new story in your life get out of victim mode co-create you know i just want to say because addictions and and all of the people who are acting out in things of anger are all hurt and it's time that we hold ourselves accountable that keeps coming up to me as well you cannot continue to hurt yourself and others it has to shift if you drop that quit blaming getting out of the fear and the hurts and start owning it it's a dark place to sit in i just highly recommend doing that card two the drum beat to your own drum beat to your own drum set the stage be the example this is also a very powerful way. Energy healing, sound, can break up density within our vessels, transmute them, hurts, wounds, release. 
to walk forward in the life that you want to co-create. That's I, these cards are just freaking phenomenal. Colette, Baron Reed, and whoever else um, produced these and inspired by Spirit, I just did a wonderful job. So the drum. The rhythm of the drum tunes you to the beating heart of the universe. Its wood frame links you to the trees and helps your journey to the lower world via the roots of the upper world through its branches. The drum skin gives you the shaman, the powers of the animal kingdom. Striking the drum calls forth the power of thunder and rumbling of an earthquake. The drum invites a trance state where healing and prophecy happens. The drum invites you to take the next bold step in your journey. The forces of heaven and earth are aligned behind you, supporting effortless action. Stay open. Stay in the flow. Stay open. Recalculate. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is not the time to push against the river. The current will take you exactly where you want to go once you jump in. Collect your power tools and summon courage because it is going to be wild and glorious journey. Allow yourself to be carried by the rhythm, what is really essential in your life. Such a wonderful message. Remember the lessons and blessings of calling in our ancestors. Thank them. Listen, I'm no contact with my blood family. I love them. However, there's been lineage after lineage after lifetime after lifetime of the matriarchs passing the torch to somebody else. I am the lineage holder. I'm changing that, and I'm very, very thankful. Thanks for the blessings. I love you, but if you don't support and honor me, I'm going to have to say goodbye to you. And that doesn't mean that I don't love. Healthy boundaries, I, people need to get very clear on that, because sometimes saying goodbye in the flesh to some people is the best thing for you beat to your own drum stay open to the flow you're supported by spirit and then we got the lower world which the drum mentions so anchoring that into our vessels guys yes yeah, see this fit image is beautiful although it's dark but there's a heart up here there's water flowing this is asking us to keep remembering the larger picture and anchoring it down into our vessels, carrying that forward, living it, not just talking it. Um, because there's great hit wisdom. If we, are if we will sit in our darkness instead of running from it and numbing it, there's so such beauty on the other side of it. This reminds me of the dark night of the soul, too, that's something that I've been in many of them throughout this life so far um, at age 44 now. But it's asking us to sit in those wounds. Don't, you know, this is where all the alcoholism and whatever else comes from is people's hurts. And also for me, I was never anchored in this body, like I said prior to. I was disassociating my whole life and not listening to my own drum. It left me feeling depleted, exhausted. I had no voice. Throat chakra was blocked. Sacral chakra blocked. Red chakra, root chakra, not grounded here. Anchoring in my divinity, my beautiful light that is irreplaceable just as yours is. Um, and it's painful. And I have to say that I can't sit here and preach it to you if I wouldn't have sat in it myself and I'm so very thankful of where I am today and I cry every day but I stop and remember the the unseen I might have to put some of these down I got the wind just a picking up you're on a centaurus right um I'm sorry I get so full of passion that I sometimes interrupt myself and um I'm finally anchored into my root chakra, into my body. My soul is a beautiful uh, white light as most empaths are. Beat to the own, your own drum. Don't be a people pleaser. If you settle down into your heart and be your authentic self, which is the biggest gift you can give yourself and to humanity, when you start beating to your own drum and your passion, sacral chakra, you start glowing. I mean, everywhere you go, you cannot say a word and your your light is anchored here
and it's asking us now to bring that into this earth plane our divinity our oneness the powerful energy that we are stay open like a transformer of energy stay open and be the alchemy alchemist of your hurts and wounds there's a lot of things out there that say drop your old stories and programs and I totally believe that in your intention in your heart of doing that but that doesn't mean not talk about it especially when you're talking about it to help yourself and help others the lower world it's a beautiful card guys I may put all three of these in still shots and on my empath group if you join I'll put still shots in there you can save these images and get a better look at them the war lower world holds the hidden treasure of humanity. It is the place of rich and fruitful darkness where we can find the disowned parts of ourselves and the ab abandoned aspects of our psyche. The lower world is the place of your ancestors where we discover the gifts and the lessons of the past. It is the realm of collective unconsciousness. That is the boom. Look at the freaking synchronicities within these messages. I mean, there, it, spirit blows my mind every day, so it's beautiful. Unconscious behavior is hurtful, so it's very, very important that we step down into our hearts. Drop down into your hearts, you won't go wrong. Start changing. Any of the lineages that were not healthy and the torch was passed off to you, we're here. We chose this to, to do something different with it. It's on, baby. Here we can meet our demons and transform them into pure energy, our source of personal power. It's time to unearth your hidden treasures. Do not make yourself small in order for others to like or accept you. Bring out the gems and precious stones that you have kept inside your heart, hidden even from yourself. It's time to honor your past and recast your life of, on a heroic quest. As you journey into the lower world, you will be offered all the gifts of your ancestors, their struggles, the way they hurt, the way they lived, and the way they died will become blessings. Freaking amazing. Amazing. Collectively, that's on. This message is right in sync. And the biggest thing I want to say to you guys is stay open. There's a lot of energy shifts right now, and they've been continual over and over and over some days you might feel like a, a vessel in the water getting plunged up against the shoreline just remember to recalculate do some deep cleansing breaths in to that sacral chakra specifically this week this is a timeless message so whenever you listen to it it wants you to bring your awareness to breathing deep into your sacral chakra releasing the fears that can be blocking that chakra and every one of our chakras is connected to the other, starting with the root. So just remember that as you're doing that, cleansing your breath and your energy within you and transmuting the fear and the lower energies into a more high vibrant um, frequency, which check out the Schumann if you haven't, guys. It's a beautiful thing. We're collectively in a time and space. Timelines are collapsing. Time's not linear like we've been taught that it is. Um, beating to your own drum, being authentic, honoring your ancestors by healing your wounds is what you can do and anchoring it into your vessel instead of being disassociated like I was the majority of my life. So I'm definitely going to post still shots of these three cards and put them in my Facebook group, guys. I would love to have you there with our tribe. It's very small in numbers, but I believe that it's just a really good thing that's the seeds been planted my main purpose of this channel is to leave you feeling better and more encouraged than when you began this channel if this doesn't resonate with you keep scrolling no needs for a thumb down um, but you can support me by liking I love interaction um, I, I, I encourage it in my Facebook group because I don't want it there just stagnant energy I love to interact I want to know how you're feeling I hope that you feel more encouraged than when you found my channel today. I can't thank you enough for being here. So like, subscribe, and sharing is how you can support me. 
I am Deanna with Divine Destiny once again. I'm an awakened empath. My passion is to share with others. I feel collective energy. And so that is my passion is to share that with you and hold my hand out to you. We're all brothers and sisters walking each other home. It's time to start playing nice on the playground together. Be your true you. Um, if you're just on this path, man, reach out. I read every single message, every comment, and I send this to you with so much love and many blessings. Definitely do check into the Lion's Gate portal that is open right now. The 8-8, eight, eight, it's a beautiful, symbolically, gateway to what we're wanting to co-create going forward. I posted a beautiful, and marked as an announcement, a beautiful article on that so you can know more about that. I send this to you with so much love, many blessings, and I will see you the next time.